Well, that did it. Welcome back to Low Ballin' Outdoors. I'm Alex. Today we're working with the Discovery EDPRS. That's a 5 by 25 by 56. We got it on the 6 by 45. This should be a fun video to make. So my first video I put this on of CZ457. Kind of did some 22 stuff. Go check that video out after you get done watching this one. I just wanted to see how this thing would handle a centerfire rifle. Now this is on a 6x45 and if you're not sure what that is, check this out. Five is a 223 case with a 6mm bullet in it. You see that? This is a 100 grain bullet so it packs a little bit of a thump when we go down range. Let's get to the bench and let's get to trying this All thing. Right, so the first thing I wanted to show you in this video is the zero stop. Basically you just take loose that pull off your cat turret and check this out this is all metal stuff in here guys this seems like a quality piece we're not going to set the zero stop right now for the simple fact is i'm still playing with this thing and trying to get used to it and yeah so we're just going to leave it as it is right now until i get done playing with it but it seems pretty straightforward it has a couple loosening things you turn it and there's your block your stopper it seems pretty straightforward not a big deal the okay, next thing I want to show you is this illumination. I didn't get to it in the last video, but I stuck a battery in it. And this is our illumination. It goes from one to six with an off position every other click. So let me show you on the lightest setting first. Okay, now check it out on the highest illumination setting. Notice it's just the crosshairs, but check it out anyways. All right, so we're gonna be trying some fun stuff. We're gonna get this scope sighted in and then we're gonna be planking them dinosaurs over. Should be a good time for sure. Guys, check this out. The clarity of this image is 100 yards. Hey, this is super hard to do on your cell phone, by the way. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe. <laughs> but definitely look at that. Absolutely awesome. I'm super impressed with this scope as far as the picture quality at 100 yards because those you know, little dinosaurs are only about that big. All right, let's go to knocking them over, shall we? One. That was way too easy. Well, let's go check out those targets and definitely, let's definitely go look at what happened to those dinosaurs. It's gonna be cool. Oh, buddy, check this out. This is awesome. Guys, it's always so much fun coming out here and dealing with this. Check this out. These things are super tough. Go get you some and plank with them. They're awesome. We kind of grazed that one. This guy's foot is about gone. Look at this guy. He's definitely not having any more kids. <laughs> but here's where we were planking with it, just trying to get the scope on paper. We started off here, we kind of moved it over closer to bullseye. I traded targets, kind of were moving around the scope and then bingo, bango, bongo. This thing is set up and ready to rock. I have no doubt this thing's gonna hold zero. I shot about 50, 60 rounds, something like that through it right now. It's gonna hold zero. This thing is awesome. I'm kind of digging it. Let's go back up the bench. So my final thoughts of this Discovery PRS Optic, it is a really good entry level scope. It has very, very good glass in it. It's heavy, it's long, a whole bunch of sunshades. The thing's packed full of features. I only have a couple of little gripes with it. One is I wish they'd send you medium rings with it as opposed to these super tall ones. But I have an adjustable cheek uh, riser on this thing so it did make it terrible. 
Another one. The illumination is a bit sketchy. It's so low on the lowest settings that you probably would need to be almost dark in order to see them. And that's really about it, guys. This thing is honestly a pretty good overall planking scope. So thanks for hanging out with us today at Lowball Outdoors. Until next time, let's keep it cheap.